I've been attacked a bunch of times by gators. I spend I spend more time in the early days with the alligators than even the sharks. Really? In my I encountered sharks. I started working hunting sharks at 25. In my 40s, I started interacting with sharks. But I was hand catching alligators since high school, all the way until until you know the later years. Now, what is your process if you're you know one weekend you feel the urge to go catch an alligator in the wild in some lake in Florida. How, what is the process on, in going about catching a gator by hand? Well, back in the day, I, I would dive on them. I had somebody hold the light on them. I'd come running and dive on them and at tackle night? them. At night? Tackle them, hold them any wish, any wish way I could. Suicide attack, basically. Now, I levitate the alligator. I back away from him, grab him, back away from him. And when he tires a little bit, then I, t- I, t- I take him down. So you only at night though? No, I, I, I do it. I can do it in the daytime underwater. Now I can go get an alligator underwater. Okay. Anytime I want. Do I do it nowadays? Not really. Mm-hmm. I haven't done it since uh, TV shows. I've avoided it. I'm an artist. Uh, you know, already lost a finger to to uh, a rattlesnake. I got bit by an alligator on the back. The good Lord told me enough is enough. Mm-hmm. I was swimming down a canal. I got ambushed. So I got bit by a rattlesnake. I got bit by an alligator and caught by a hog all within a couple of years towards the end of, of my uh, time doing all this kind of stuff. It's sometimes, okay, the Lord does something, keep mm-hmm. you humble, it's slow down. Uh, I got a family now, so right. you know I got more responsibilities, so I, do, I focus more on my artwork. Right. Pull up one of those videos of Manny le- levitating uh, a giant alligator. Was that yeah. the canal monster? I think, canal, I think there might be. Canal monster is one of my biggest. I have a tab pulled up for the canal monster, I believe. I got the two biggest gators. One is in North Florida, and this one is in South Florida. Okay. Can you give me some vo- a little bit of volume? And I'm gonna see if I can locate him. Yeah, he's already gone under, so I'm gonna. So try you to okay? Find. So you already Th- spotted this, him. This canal is full of hydrilla on the bottom. Yeah, I seen him from the from the van. I I encountered him twice. Canal, carefully watching for any signs of the monster, and then. Like a ghost, he begins to materialize. He has left the bank and is facing directly at us. What you're seeing on the is surface. No yeah. He is about to mount a full attack. Oh, I like the voiceover. As he continues to move closer. He is arching his back as a threat. Is he really arching his back? Yeah. <laughs> this thing is literally swimming right towards you. Right. But if he's going to attack you, he's not going to just be chilling on the surface like that, is he? He's going under now. Oh, now he's going under. As he sinks below the surface, I dive all the way to the bottom. Get below him and grab him by the shin. Oh my god. This stops the attack, but now I have a dinosaur on my hands. <laughs> <gasps> You just grabbed him by his like his neck fat, or or his skin, skin, yeah. the skin of his neck. He kicks me in the chest and barrels away. That's like a what, fifteen footer? Thirteen plus. Uh, they haven't seen a fifteen foot alligator, I think, in, in Florida. Oh, really? The record is fourteen foot and a half around there. He glides so he stop near the bank. Not much bigger than that. So, if you move it forward. Uh, so it's gonna be a, he's gonna I'm gonna run him out of there but I'm I'm still killing time but he goes into a hydrilla and I levitate him one more time all the way to the surface oh wow yeah just move it move it a, a little bit so he's hiding in like a little cove right now in like the mangroves yeah no he's gonna I'm gonna he's gonna go I'm gonna I can't get to him so I'm gonna try to get him out of there I can't even I, I can pick up an alligator by the scoot just when he's so big I can't oh my god and he's not even doing anything mm <laughs> Even though you're fucking with him, he's just laying there. Yeah. Uh, alligators that big are great to work with and very deadly. If he bites you, he will crush everything in your body. That thing will kill a horse or a cow. That will kill a whole, drag a whole cow in the water. An alligator that big will. Oh, he's trying to escape. He's trying to run away. Yeah, I'm going to run him out of there. So, see, oh I'll, my I'll pick him God, up. thing's a Goliath. I'll pick him up once or tw- two or three times and no more because then he'll 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 attack you 
still trying to escape on the very bottom. Well, no, he goes into the hydrilla. Now I got to go find him in the hydrilla. He's like, Manny, please just leave me alone, bro. I'm just trying to take a nap. How long can they hold their breath for? The whole day. One that big forever. How long? Hours after hours. Hours they can hold their breath? A big one like that. That's a, incredible. Are there any other animals that can hold their breath for that long? Uh, sperm whale. Oh, yeah, whales, obviously, yeah. They go one hour on the bottom, a mile deep, to find squid. Look at this. You just got him right out of the hydrilla. See, when I put the head straight up, he goes into tonic immobility, just like a shark. So when you put his head vertically like that, he's like sort of in a trance? Yeah, it, he, he gets, for a few seconds, he's out of, but see, once I hit the surface, he exploded. Right. But you can see the size of him as you spun around him. Oh, my God. But I've done that so many times over the years. I had so much time with the alligators. Now he's gone. No, uh, he's oh, he's still on. He's cruising. Yeah, the producer's running. Up. He's got the camera on him right now. He's chasing him. Looking at him. He's do you talking th- about it, see? Do you think that you're more... By that time I told, I told Quentin, no, no, no more. Leave him. Back off. Right, right, right. He's pissed now. Do I think what? I'm saying, are, are, are humans more vulnerable in the water with a gator or like right next to the shore? Uh, in the water, probably. Probably. Because on shore, you can jump back or do something. You still got... You're, you're more clumsy in the water. The alligator is very agile in the water. Mm-hmm. You know, he can catch fish underwater. He's super fast. But they can run extremely fast, can't they? Short, no, just a short burst from here to here. Just you a can, short burst? He's not going to catch you. If you see him coming down the road at you, just run the other way. He's not going to catch you. Really? Mm-hmm. Everyone, I've always heard that, like, if you run in zigzags, like, they can't no, they can't make sharp just turns. Just run straight. Uh, if you're behind a, a tree or something or a post, you get behind him. He's got to get around it, so you can always get around it. And he, he can't get around it, you know. If he's here... He's got to attack this way. He's got to back away so you can get on this side. So you're going to be around the post all day long. Oh, uh, okay. Like he a telephone pole. He can't he, get you. No. If you, if you use your brain, he can't bite you. Right. If you get behind the telephone pole, he goes this way, you go this way, you go this right, way. Right, 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 right. He can't get you. And what happened when you actually got bit by one? Uh, I felt like somebody hit me with a baseball bat, across, baseball bat across my back. I was swimming down a canal. And I was looking for fish to hand catch. I already levitated a couple of alligators that day. And I got lazy. Didn't look behind me. It's supposed to look behind you in case one is sneaking up on you. And sure enough, one came behind me and bit me in the back. I felt like a bomb went off on my back. He didn't get a good grip on me. If you would have got a hold of my arm, he would have ripped it off. But he, he kind of like slipped away from my wetsuit, pulled away with it. Mm. And he, didn't, he put 12 scratches on my back and a bruise here. He didn't get a good grip on me. And I was able to get away from him, and I came out pretty good from that one. I went after him, chased him off. Oh, you charged him? Yeah, I confronted him. Right after him. he did that? Yeah, I grabbed him by the neck and all that and went with him to the bottom, and then he took off. What? Well, in order to turn around over so he doesn't come after me again. And then I, I was able to get on the airboat, and I said, if I could get an airboat, you know, kick up on it in the side, I might be okay. When I pulled my wetsuit back, they took a picture. Okay, it's not that bad. But I said, I, I got to get in and put bleach on it and everything's Because they can infect you. Yeah, and, but it, when I saw it, it wasn't that bad. It came out very good out of it. They just pour some, some liquor on it and you, you were good? Uh, yeah, it came out very good from that one. <laughs>